DZRJ 810 AM, the voice of the Philippines proudly brings you Equal Justice. Find out the hottest legal issues of the week and hear the analysis. And now, here are your hosts, Attorney Ador Tolentino. Yes to peace, no to BBS. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Facebook. If you want to follow Attorney June Kicho. An attorney Tiki Tabuhara. Vice President Dina, Patisipinoy, Patisi Executive Secretary. We're back, and uh, again, this is your host, Attorney Tiki Tabuhara. Um, uh, with me today is our special guest. Uh, Dr. Edgardo Onson of the Animal House, uh, Animal Clinic, and uh, the Philippine Association of Philippine uh, Animal Hospitals Association of the Philippines. Okay, now uh, we we would like to mention uh, for the audience that uh, there is a committee on animal welfare uh, under the Department of Justice under Republic Act uh, 8485, and uh, we'd like to be you know proud to announce that our guest here, uh, Dr. Ed Onson, is uh, recently elected. Uh, Vice Chairman of the Committee on Animal Welfare of uh, the Department of Justice, and uh, with him in tandem uh, is of course yours truly, uh, representing the Philippine uh, Veterinary Medical Association uh, nominee uh, as Chairman of that committee. So, dalawa tayong may magtatrabaho dun yun. So, we'll be seeing each other more often. <laughs> Not a lot of work to do, but it's, it's good to start. Okay, so, uh, well, uh, Speaking of animal welfare, no, um, where of course a lot of laymen are listening in, no? um, a lot of people are not aware that uh, animals actually have welfare, no? they have rights no? under the law. And uh, these laws are, of course, the Animal Welfare Act, uh, Republic Act 8485, and also the uh, amendment to this uh, animal welfare law, which is Republic Act 10631. Uh, no? And uh, there are actually criminal penalties uh, for maltreating animals, uh, for cruelty to animals. And uh, for basically committing acts which are determined by the law uh, to be constituting acts of cruelty. No? So this is a new concept because uh, under the old law, uh, before 1998, before this Animal Welfare Act was passed, um, animals were not really considered as humans. No? So they didn't have the same rights as humans. You kill an animal, basically you're just committing damage to property. So ganun lang yung malicious mischief. Uh, it's not something like murder or homicide with a criminal penalty such as the same as killing a, a human being or maltreating a human being. So, um, we're, with the new uh, passage of the new law, uh, there are now penalties for uh, acts of cruelty to animals. So, number one is, of course, killing animals, maltreating them, um, keeping them in cramped cram places, and uh, what else, what else, Dr. Liu, can you enumerate? Yeah, a lot. Because they, Animal they, cruelty. They, having a pet, that's why they call it about the responsible pet ownership. It's not just feeding it. So, there it is. Are you giving it the right? I give it water. I give it enough space. I give it enough r room to be a, to be an animal. So there, are, because animals now are in so much uh, contact. A lot of any animal is in, in close contact with people. So the people are being aware already that um, are these animals being the right to have to be an animal, not an animal but also as a pet. So that's why the awareness is just ballooning. Because people want, again, uh, better care, be better cities, and they're horrified already. Like, as, as you'll see on maybe as Twitter and Facebook, all these these complaints na, why is a pet being treated like this? Kung maraming ganun sa Facebook, no? Oh, diba? like, uh, yung pinatay, yung binubug yung aso, pinatay yung ano, oh, binarin yung aso. Binarin. The recent, the latest one, binarin ng aso ng isang retired police officer. Then they flaunt it, di ba? Okay. Parang wala, parang tontoa pa sila. Now, now, under the Animal Welfare Act now, doc, those are considered as crimes. Yes. Okay, now, uh, well, as a lawyer, no, I, I'm, I'm a lawyer, I go to court, and I'm aware also of the law. And for, for me, I, I don't see too many of these cases being filed, no? and uh, also much less convictions. No? I heard of a conviction maybe around five months ago, uh, a post, it was a post case. Eh? Um, he was convicted of animal cruelty, violation of the Animal Welfare Act. Binigyan na siya ng 5,000 peso fine. So, walang kulong. So, uh, how do you see this as an impediment to, uh, to, 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 to the enforcement of animal welfare laws in the Philippines? Well, because it is, again, maybe because it's an animal, and because of the sa daming cases sa uh, case sa mga courts kasi ay hindi pa pansin niya kasi ayip lang yan and then sa dami daming cases hindi hindi yan magpo-prosper kasi tao pa kaya 
lang pa yung pet or yung animal when that prosper. So people are actually discouraged already with fighting. But a lot of people are angered also. So because of maybe it was uh, pain or something that they, but the perception of a person already will drive people to act. So that's why there are more cases that maybe being threat, they're threats where people are starting to take action because of the pain that is, of the, what the person feels. Okay. Uh, well, I, I saw recently in Cavite that there was a video being circulated on Facebook that an animal is being dragged in the streets. No? Uh, hinawakan siya ng, ng vehicle owner, tapos kinaladkat yung animal. Naka-video, no? And also, you, you notice this latest case of the, the eagle no? who was killed, no? si uh, Pamana, no? Binaril, was, yeah, shot yeah. and uh, not only shot but just left there no? to rot you know, with uh, wildlife. Um, how do you see the future of animal welfare? Uh, given these uh, circumstances that it's very difficult to enforce the law because not too many people are willing to, to come forward and testify and the penalties are very low. Yeah. Because of the, yeah, the, the case of the cost and then we actually prosper and this is a waste of time. But people, some people are. But the classic case is like what you mentioned, si Pamana. Mm -hmm. Pamana yan. The Philippine Eagle. Yes. So that's, to us, that is the national bird. But if the person and if you see in any place, pag may ibon, automatically babarilin yan. Hindi pwede, ay, ang ganda ng ibon. Dito sa Pilipinas, pag may ibon, hala, puli ko yung baril. O yung, ano, yung... Air gun. Air gun or something, papatay ko yan. Why? Why is it like that? There is this natural instinct. Oh, if there's... I, I don't know. If it, is it natural born or mm -hmm. something just... The, the, they were not taught. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just people just need to be made, made aware. Dati, pag may pusa, ay, patayin ko yan. Uh, pag may aso, madumi yan. Pag may uh, kuwago, kunin ko yan kasi alagaan ko yun. So, there is, that's why we have no wildlife. I said there's no wildlife earlier because every time there's something, they will catch it, kill it, or they will not let, they will not let it survive. So that, that whole behavior is actually also trickling, trickling down to dogs and cats. So if we can't even take care of our national, natural, national bird, then automatically the common person Patayin ba yan? Kasi ay, ang ganda, ibon. Air gun, air gun. Okay, whatever, or, or, or screenshot, you know, whatever. But the, the thing is, I will kill that or I will catch it to sell. Oh. Ay, ba yun? Yeah, so a lot of people may actually wound it para ibenda nila. Okay. So I've seen that everywhere, wherever I go. Yan ang natural instinct ng tao. In the Philippines. In the Philippines. Okay. That's why they say, ang ganda ng Palawan. How long will this last? When you, more people are going there, pag may ibon, patayin na. O, kalaga ko sa pinas si provincial veterinarian, Dr. P. Oliedo. Calling, sabi ni Dr. Onsundo, kailangan may preserve yung Palawan. So, I really think the education, because it's checking down to dogs and cats. When they see a dog, kakain ko yan, you know. So, it is, I think, media. Since everybody's a media person, let's ibomba natin yung the Filipino community. Yeah. Actually, speaking of dog meat, no, it's actually illegal no, under the law to, to actually engage in dog meat trade, no, to, yes, to sell meat as yung, yung asusera, no? uh, Penalties for this uh, uh, Animal Welfare Act, no? so you can actually go to jail no, uh, for imprisonment of one year to six months to two years, no? and the fine not exceeding 100,000 pesos for any cruelty made done or maltreatment or neglect to animals if the animal dies. So, pag hindi namatay, same cruelty, the penalty goes one degree lower. So, it's still one year to six months imprisonment and a fine of around 50,000 pesos. So, medyo mabigat din. No? But as I said, um, the reason why we don't see too much teeth in this law is because if the penalty imposed on any criminal offense is below six years, uh, the offender can actually be entitled to probation. So, walang kulo. They can be in prison, pero bayad lang yan. Uh, yeah, um, actually, usually this, they're wealthier people, no? mga dog fights, mga pit bulls, horse fighting done in the provinces, usually in the auspices of the local government unit, no? the mayor, the governor, and then dito sa Batangas, there was a famous case about three years ago, dog fighting, nagkaroon ng raid, di ba? yung 400 pit bulls, kinuha, yes. till now they're still litigating, and then the dogs, nobody's caring for the dogs, so nandun yung mga pit bull, wala na papakain sa kanila, so <laughs> they're looking for you know donations for food, you know somebody who could give you know some some donations for the shelter for the dog, and uh, actually these, these dogs are actually suffering right now. Yeah. 
So, yun ang problema. I would really love to see, to be more effective, is really massive education. I would love to see it in the movie houses. Mm-hmm. People are watching movies, watching it. I would oh, love wala, to see it there. Walang kwento ka sa mga movie house, yung mga, kung ano, mga, sa mga program na nakikita mo dun, mga advertisement. But, you know, substance-wise, these, these issues can actually be be better to to you know to make the public more aware no, of yes. the instances where animal cruelty can actually bring uh, a legal consequence to your acts no so the Filipinos are, are as they say choice choice uh, race or nationality for caregivers choice nationality for for uh, health givers uh, people want to retire because I'm fighting now I believe the Filipino heart will give so much for pets educate mo lang yan. Hmm. Well, uh, well, with that, uh, with that said, uh, I think we're running out of time. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, our guest, uh, Dr. Edgar Monson uh, from Animal House, who is the chairman and president of the Philippine Association of Animal Hospitals and also vice chairman of the Committee on Animal Welfare. Uh, thank you very much for being on our show. And uh, we hope this is not the last time. No? We'll be seeing you regularly. Uh, there are a lot of issues to be discussed, as you said. Uh, we have the upcoming Animal Welfare Week. Uh, and then uh, we'll be working together on the Committee on Animal Welfare. So uh, we hope that you will have, you know, take the time to come back again in the future if there are any issues that have to be discussed with this card to uh, animal welfare. Thank you very much, Dr. Salamat, Dr. Nitiki. Thank you. Thank you for having me and hope I was able to help. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we're glad to have you on board. And uh, again, uh, for our guests, uh, for our listeners, thank you very much for listening. Uh, this is Attorney Tiki Tapuara saying goodbye and uh, see you next week.